How's it going, everybody? Today, we are going to take what we already have, which is our coin low poly, and I'm going to show you how to simulate a realistic coin drop so that you have a pile of coins that you can bring inside of Unreal Engine and uh, texture and have to look cool. All right, so that's going to be the next step. So let's jump right into 3ds Max and get this started. All right. So now that we're in 3ds Max, we can begin by adding our Mass Effects tools and our creating uh, or adding our Mass Effects toolbar. So if you don't see it, let me let me show you how this works. Let me remove these. Okay. So if you start off and you don't have any of those, you don't have your Mass Effects toolbar set up, the easiest way for you to go about getting it is in this top right corner, you just need to find a little bit of space and you're gonna right click and you're gonna find your, uh, your Mass Effects toolbar right here under main toolbar. You click that open and it's gonna drop it into your, uh, into your scene. And you can leave it out or you can just dock it right in there. And that's where I'm going to dock mine. I don't want that to be in the way because I'm going to have my Max uh, Mass Effects tools in here as well. So to add my Mass Effects tools, I hit X on my keyboard to bring up my search bar. Now my search bar is up. I'm just going to type in Mass FX. And that's going to bring up my Mass Effects tools. And the... Uh, the shortcut, the hotkey for it is shift, alt, right, middle, mouse, button, All right? So let's just click that and this is gonna pull up this little tab right here. And this is just, this is just that toolbar up there. But I wanna show my Mass Effects tools so that I have uh, my simulation uh, settings right here that I can use to play back my uh, animations or my, my uh, simulation. All right, so we want to create a few of these coins and we're going to want to create something for them to drop on. All right, so I'm going to go into my top view by hitting T and then drop down a plane. All right, I've got my plane. I'm going to hit W on the keyboard and then zero it out. All right, once again, I'm just zeroing it out. And now I'm going to grab my coin I'm going to shift drag, just make a copy, hide this one. And with this coin, let's hit P on the keyboard to go into our perspective view. So now, if I hold down this little ball right here, if I hold it down, it gives me three options. I can set selected as a dynamic rigid body. I can set the selected as a kinematic rigid body, or I can set the selected as a static rigid body, right? The plane is the ground plane, and I want that to be a static rigid body. That means it's not gonna be animated, it's not gonna be moved, it's just gonna have things that are going to affect it, right? That's why it's a static, uh, uh, it's a static mass effect rigid body. Um, for the coins, right, for the coins though, we're gonna, we're gonna first, we're gonna duplicate them. So I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit, like so, till I get to 90 degrees. And if you don't know how I'm getting my angle snaps, all right, that's my angle snaps. All right, those two, switch those off. So all my snaps on, and then I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna maybe duplicate, like maybe say, let's do, uh, let's do some instances. Let's make them copies. We're going to do five. We're going to select these five. We're going to do this like so. We're going to make, let's do rows of three. So now we have four rows. And then we're going to take them up. We're going to go up with these. All right, so now I'm going to make, let's do 30. All 
right, so now we've got a ton of coins to simulate for our pile. I'm just gonna grab all of these and change the wire color to black. That's something I do just so I can see the wireframe a little better. So now we've got our coins and that we're gonna wanna simulate. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all my coins and I'm gonna go back to the little ball thing that we have over here. We're gonna drop it down again. We're gonna hold it down. I'm clicking it and I'm gonna set these as dynamic rigid body objects and it's going to take a second for it to process that but what it's doing is it's making them ready to be animated or simulated all right it's going to give it a second all right i think we're back so i'm just going to select one of them and i'm going to go into my uh rigid body and i'm going to make sure that it is set to object and the presets right now is set to none but i wanted to have something that is kind of like a coin so like steel would be the closest that we have and I'm gonna set that to uh, in my preset to steel I don't want it to bounce around too much because rubber it's not rubber it's a, it's a metal coin so uh, let's do something with metal properties all right so we should have something that's good and now let's see what happens when we simulate Our simulation's going. Uh oh. Whoa. They're just stacking on top of each other. <laughs> I think because it's steel, they're just like stacking on top of each other, and there's not really a lot. Oh, right, there we go. Now they're going to fall. This is cool. This is so awesome. So we're making a pile of coins and uh, our simulation is still going. We're going to give it a little bit of time. It's going to just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. All right. So whenever that's done, you can bake all this information in and, and have it to take into anything you want. You can even have that simulation run in another uh, program whenever you've got your the final simulation that you like and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting, look at that. So this is how you would go about making, like you could throw different things, you could throw like jewels in there, you could throw like rubies and uh, crowns and chests, treasure chests or something like that. And then you can simulate it to have it uh, do something cool like this, all right? Thank you for watching this episode, uh, this tutorial, I mean. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the, uh, the next one. So yeah. So I'm just going to let the simulation run out, and uh, I'll catch you on the next episode.